Okay. Good? Okay. Hi everyone, this is your Sussex County Chiropractor, Dr. Will Holdsworth from Pain Relief Chiropractic. I'm here with Lois today from Fitness Coaching LLC. Uh, she is a personal trainer and has a personal training company with, uh, you have trainers all over upper northern New Jersey or? Pretty much more northern New yeah. Jersey. Yeah. Morris County mostly, right? Yeah. And today she's in here because she's having some upper back issues. Uh, she says like right by the like left scapula. Mm -hmm. um, and what would you rate that pain on a zero to ten scale? Right now it's probably around a five. Okay, so she's a five, dull ache. Yeah. Okay, she's got a dull ache there, so what we're going to do is we're going to do some muscle work around that area. We're going to do some uh, adjustments, and uh, she should be uh, feeling much better. So we're going to start with you seated. Uh, let's go ahead and face uh, that wall over there. Okay. All right, so we're going to start with your arm from here, going across the chest like this. When you get there, grab that elbow with the right hand, pull it tight across. Good. And then you're going to come back toward me. And repeat. And let me know if the pressure's too much. Mm -hmm. Feels good. Good. Busy today? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. You find it gets busier when it gets warmer out? Like people want to get in shape for the beach like last minute? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, July we kind of slow down a little bit because our clients typically go away this month. Um, right. But come the end of August, we get super, super busy. Good. And then October, as an odd month, we get really, really busy. Huh. And then January yeah. is like the normal month to get busy. Okay. Because um, of the uh, yeah, New, Year's New Year's resolutions. right. And then April. April and May. And yeah. then actually this June is very busy too. So, But no nice. rhyme or reason. Just yeah. Happens. It just goes up and down, right? Yeah. Yeah. Good. We'll do two more. And one more here. Good. And relax. Unless you're breathing. Yes. Breathing is good. It actually really helps with loosening up the muscles there. Right arm here. Go across and grab. Good. And come back. And forward. Good. You know what helps me too? Yoga. Yoga is great. I was I at a 10 last Thursday. And I didn't get here. Plus you're closed on Friday. Right. So I... Did yoga on Friday and Saturday. Nice. And it brought it down significantly. Where'd you go? I did it in my house. Oh, nice. We're a traveling service, so we do That's it in, right. the, in the luxury of my deck. That's perfect. <laughs> and it was the same spot? Yeah. That was bothering you? Yeah. Okay. Ever since I had the twins. Oh, yeah, one more. I feel like all the weight and relax. in the front of my body just pulled everything forward. Ah. Uh, just been stuck in that one spot. Mm -hmm. Going up and then down. And repeat that. How long did you do yoga for? Um, probably like 30 minutes. That's 30 it? 30 to 40 minutes, That's yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I get, I don't know. I get bored with everything, so. Yeah. That's why I have a trainer that comes to me, too. There you go. Keep you on track. Yeah. If it's an appointment, it works. Yeah. And it actually happens. Yeah. Otherwise, it doesn't end up on the calendar. That's what a lot of patients do here because we're a walk-in office, so people know they don't have to have an appointment. Yep. But if they say, I'll just walk in, then I see them later and they're like, yeah, I should have came in earlier. I'm going to make an appointment just so I, I stay on track and I'm like, definitely coming in that day. Yep. If it's not on the calendar, it doesn't exist, right? Nope. Yeah. Well, my calendar looks like the rainbow because everybody has a different color. Yeah. Oh, do you have all your trainers on your calendar? No. Okay, yeah, that, we use, that would be crazy. No. <laughs> no, thank God. Yeah. yeah, we have a software that we use because I have 12 people on staff, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Too many people for to keep track of their schedules. No, they all, they all just import their schedules into our software. Oh, good. But between my husband and my children, my kids' parents, and my mother-in-law, Paper. Had a really big calendar. Or a really good memory. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to do that. Oh. Alright, let's go on your stomach, face down. Okay, 
right now we're just going to do some work on our rhomboids. So we did like the upper shoulder muscles first, just to get them out of the way. Um, I know her sight is like, her sight of pain is like right in here, mm -hmm. but it's good to like get the other areas around there to loosen up because if they're tight, they're just going to pull back on it. So we got to loosen it all up. I'm interested in what you did for yoga to help with this. That's pretty cool that you can do it on your own because I, I really like showing people what they can do at home to help because like you said, I'm not here on Friday, Saturday or Sunday. So I need, you know, I don't want people to not get relief when I'm closed. And that's like the purpose for most of the videos I do. So maybe yeah. you could show me some of this stuff and I'll yeah. make some stretch videos. Yeah, we could do it together. Yeah, we could do it, yeah, we, could do it. we can. Do like a cooperative video. Teen, teen Ninja video with Fitness Kids and Juggling. Yeah, that's perfect. We'll come, we'll show you some, some little yoga stretches that I like to do. Nice. I kind of call it like lowest movement because it's you know, not really just yoga. It's like a combi I call it yoga Yeah. Um, because I said all of the kind of modalities that I use within I know Pilates is, is really helpful for like for muscle itself and sometimes I know physical therapists do like Pilates. That's like a weird device, right? The Pilates well, thing? Yeah, so you have it's a Pilates reformer. Yeah. Um, which we typically don't use. Okay. Um, that's kind of like its own its own like certification, but oh, okay. um, I do Matt Pilates, which is basically developed a tech it's a developed technique based from this guy Joe Pilates. Joe was, Pilates? Yeah. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that was <laughs> Yeah, so he basically wanted to have um, a create a, a, a type of a type of movement for dancers. Right. Um, to be able to help them strengthen and condition without getting, like, sleepy. Right. Um, like you would with a lot of, like, the weight training styles that uh, were out there. Okay. So he created these rep this rep repetitive movement. So you're not getting huge, and you're still in, like, dancing form, so yes. you don't look like a bodybuilder up exactly. there. Exactly. Okay, go ahead and breathe in and out. And again here. Oh. And here. Let's go on your back, lay face up. You got any time for vacation this summer? Yeah, I'm heading to the beach Good. next week. You going down the shore? Mm -hmm. Nice. Bend this knee. And rotate here. Good. And give me a breath in. And then breathe out. Good. Let's reset that. Go ahead and slide a little higher towards your head. Got your hair there. Yeah. Good. Straighten this the up. The mop. Good. Rotate a little more. Good. And a breath in and out. Good. Go flat on your back. Bend your right knee. Straighten that leg. Did you watch the World Cup at all? No? You know, I've asked a couple people that this week, and nobody has watched the World Cup. It's like so crazy. Nobody cared, but I didn't really watch it either. I only watched the last half, second half of the last game. Breathe in and out. Good. And go flat on your back. Yeah, I have no, I have, I don't even know where it was. Where it was like. I think it was in Russia, right? Russia? Yeah. 
When you take a deep breath in and out, does that spot bother you? Mm-hmm. Typically, mostly with, it hurts when I sleep. When you sleep? And when I wake up. Do you wake up from sleep when you're from pain with that? Mm-mm. I wake okay. up in pain. You wake up in the morning in pain. Mm-hmm. Are you sleeping on your stomach, side, or back? Um. All over the place. <laughs> I don't really okay. have a spot. Okay. Um, what is the best position for you to fall asleep in? Like, do you have a spot where you're like, I have to be on my back in order to fall asleep or anything like that? Uh, no, not really. It's kind okay. of just like, I'm just like reading or something at night and just shut my eyes and that's it. That's good. <laughs> that's good. Um, then that means, so I'm going to tell you, definitely don't try to fall asleep on your stomach. Okay. The stomach sleeping is the worst. Oh, I didn't know that. Because you have to turn your head 90 degrees, at least, in order to breathe. No one sleeps with their face, like, face into a pillow. So always make sure that you're... Sleeping on your back is... Or sleeping on your stomach is bad. Sleeping on your stomach is bad, and that's just for the neck reason. For the back, it's not really good, because you're kind of, like, an extension all night. Um, So your back isn't neutral, and your neck definitely isn't neutral, because, again, you have your head turned all night while you're in that position. Okay. So that's not really good. The, um... Best is back, because that, like if you notice here, you're straight, right? It's the way you are when you're standing. So you can do that. Good. Hand on your cheek, and breathe in, and then breathe out. Good. And relax that. So, uh, falling on your sleep, on your back, with a pillow, like under your knees, it's like the best position for your back that you can do, mm-hmm. but it's really the best position for your low back and your upper back so when it's bothering you. If you want to sleep on your side, you can do that, but I'll show you after the video is done and after we're done with the treatment, I'll show you the position that works really well for when you're laying on your side. You just put like a pillow okay. under your upper arm and you put a pillow between your knees yeah. and then make sure your head is neutral. I did that when I was pregnant because I was in so much pain. Why'd you stop? <laughs> I don't like sleeping like that. Maybe. Uh, I feel like my legs, my legs and my hips fall asleep. Yeah. Okay. Maybe your position in the pillow is a little too high or too low. Mm-hmm. Any headaches at all? No. All right. And relax this. Now we'll get one more spot down here. Okay, let's come on, Lois. Okay. See how you're feeling. I feel good. You got any residual, anything left? Mm-mm. No? No, not at all today. Good. Oh, we got lucky today. Thank Very good. You. Awesome. Cool. Well, thanks for doing this video, Lois. My pleasure. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Dr. Will Holdsworth. This is Lois from Fitness Coaching, LLC. Um, for Pain Relief Chiropractic, your Sussex County chiropractor. Have a good day.